Hey Ozzy here, in this video I'm just going to talk about like how you can integrate currency future in your WordPress website. So well, first of all let me show you what we're going to do in this video. So if you see here, two options, one is like US dollar and another is like BDT. So now if I just click on here this USD amount, then it just changed it to USD. And now if I just click on here this BDT amount, it just directly changed it to BDT. Now if I add this product into my cart, I just add it and here the checkout. Let me just go to the checkout option. Then you're gonna see we get to see Bikash, Nagot and Rocket like this type of payment gateway and all this manual. <laughs> but no worries if you want then you can use automatic payment gateway if you want. And now if I just change it to EVSD amount and then if I just add this product into my cart and if I just go to the cart and if I go to checkout then you will get to see we get only this direct bank transfer option. That means if you use USD, you can use different payment gateway. And if you want BDT, you can use different payment gateway, whatever you have. Or if you, wanna, if you don't want to do this, then you can just keep it all as you wish. Now let me show you like how we can set up this plugin on your WordPress website. To do that, first of all, you have to log in your WordPress backend and then come here, plugins and add new button and just type here this W-O-O-C-S and install here this plugin and also you need to activate this plugin. So when you activate it, then you get to see here this plugin, it's have a setting option. You can open it for here or if you want, then you can go to WooCommerce then setting you will get the same option. I mean, if you just come here, this currency, then you get to see the same option. Okay, so now, right now, as you can see, I already added all the things um, because I was just checking, <laughs> so that's why. But I'm showing you one by one, no worries. So when you just uh, open this, uh, open this, then you get to see two option. It's about like Euro, I think, Euro, and another is like USD. And this is mainly the free version. So in free version, you can only use two currency. You can only add two currency. And, and if you want a match, then you have to go the premium and then you can add a match. So what did you do? You, first of all, when you open it, then you get to see there is no image, okay? So to add the image, what do you have to do? Just click on here, this, this button, as you can see, I'm talking about here you will get to see no images in here. So what you have to do, you have to just click on here, this box, then you will get to see that it just open something like, uh, you can uh, select an image for the flag. So how you can get the flag? You can just search in Google, USA flag icon, USA flag icon, and go to images, and try to finding out that images that is transparent. So this image is not transparent and it's have also an, a you know, wide space. If you see carefully that it's have a wide space in here. So we don't really need this type of image. So let's find out more. And if you see this image, this is perfect because this image don't have any kind of, you know, this black space or white space. So if you just download the image, just click out uh, right button and save it. Uh, I already uh, downloaded my, uh, computer that's why it's showing so if you download it then just go back again and just drag and drop here the image that you recently download and just click on here the select button to select the image then this image will be changed if you not if you not understand then let me change here this image to this one then as you can see this image is changed and if i put something different image this image will be changed so i hope you understand so when it's done then um when i ch choose here bdt when I, you can type here, whatever you know, you like, you can type here. So I just type BDT and also it's here have a you know, currency icon. So I just choose here, you know, this BDT icon and it's automatically coming the, right now the price one you see to BDT and it's also have the refresh button. If you want to refresh it, then you can just refresh manually. And also you can type here Bangladeshi Taka or you can say BD Taka, right? This BD Taka, okay? I type here BD Taka. So, and now I'm just going to save it. Now, you might have a question that why you selected USD? Why it's not BDT? Or why it's not another? So it totally depends on your main currency. 
So if you come here my website and if you see the, all the products, then you get to see all the products one kind of in EVST, not like BDT. So that's why I just choose my main or major currency, it's USD. If you are from India or any other country, then select, you just add your product like the same currency, right? So then you can choose here your own country currency, then it will be convert. Okay, so I hope you understand. And now the second option, it's option. So the welcome currency, I already told you it's depend on your product. If you put, if you, uh, put your product in BDT, and the main currency is BDT, then choose here BDT. And since in my website's main currency is USD, that's why I choose here USD. And up in advanced option, you will get to see some advanced options. So I only enable here payment rules. If you enable this payment rules, then you get to see here this extra payment option. So when I start the video, you see like when I choose USD, I get to see only direct bank bank transfer. When I choose here BDT, I get to see some our local, um, you know, this uh, currency. Uh, it's not currency. It's like a payment gateway. So it's depend on, you know, if you want to change it, then you can do it from here, okay? So um, if you see careful that for the direct bank, I just choose here USD. And for Bcash, I choose here BDT, Rocket BDT, and Nagod BDT. So how I get this option? If you go to here, this WooCommerce payments, then you will get to see all the payments method, method that you already select. So if you already uh, install or already set up PayPal, then you will get the PayPal option in here. So you don't need to worry about it, okay? You don't need to worry about this payment gateway in here. So when it's done, then must be, don't forget to save, must be save it, okay? Now let's go to here this uh, Geo IP. So if you wanna sh do something like um, for a specific country, you would like to show USD. So you can set up the currency in USD. For a specific currency, uh, a specific country, you would like to show BDT, then you can show here, you can select here the specific country, it's up to you. So I'm not going to do anything. So here's the design option. Um, mainly it's for the drop down. I think if you just go back, then you will get to see, okay, so here is the designer. In this section, you can create your own view currency drop down switcher. Switcher means if you see pre previously, it's something like switcher, you will get, you can create it. And also if you see here the preview on the top, then as you can see, it's have the option, as you can see, it's have the option. So you can do your own, right? So I'm not going to do anything. So I'm just going to the side. Side mainly, if you see carefully that this is mainly called the side. So in the side, I just enable it. First of all, you have to enable it, okay? If you just turn, first of all, you get to see turn off, so you have to do enable. So when you do enable, then you have to choose the skin. So it's have classic block, roll block, round block, how do you want, you can choose here. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And here this side, how, where do you want? Right now, I'm just making it right side, that's why it's showing right. So if you want, then you can make it left or right. And also the top margin is 45%. It's not pixel, it's percent. So as you can see in 45 percent, it's just showing here. So in mobile version, it's just kind of the same. If you see the mobile, it's have the same thing in a 45, right? It's gonna be one kind of sticky. So it will stay in a 45 percent on the top. So now in here, the basic field is this code and sign. Code and sign, the basic field. And uh, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna just hover field, if you wanna do hover, then it's just showing the flag and description. So first of all, you get to see something like description. So if you wanna add something, uh, if you wanna add anything, then just copy like this and just paste it and make a space like this. So I'm just gonna keep it like this, okay. So uh, for in basic field, if you wanna add any uh, flag, they can, you can add the flag. So I'm not going to add any flock right now. Oh, how does it look like? I think, you know, it's perfect. It's not like uh, much because uh, in mobile, you just take a little bit more space. So that's why I think right now it's okay. So let's make it safe. And when you save it, then you get to see the changes. Just reload it. And then as you can see, we get the option. And now if I change it to BDT, 
and as you can see it's now changed it to bid it here so in payment option in payment option you, you have to just uh, choose here what do you want in every single every single payment gateway you will get to see here and you have to choose which currency you you uh, just want so uh, I think it's okay right now uh, we don't need to do anything right here and uh, also it's have some few option like if you go to the advanced they will, then you'll get to see like individual fixed price rules for each product if you want individual fixed amount for coupon and fixed amount and uh, prices for the role and also the individual uh, rules for each product for you know this GOP um, I mean geography location or IP address you know something see if you want then you can set up from here so I hope you understand if you have any question about that just let me know in the comment section I will try to give you answer and and two years ago I was making a video it's about the custom payment gateway I know every people who have who know who know about this currency switcher I know you need also any plugin it's like custom payment gateway plugin so in the next video I, I will show you about this custom payment gateway so if you really like this video please click on this like button and if you need her my channel so please do subscribe and if you want to create your website and if you need really need help then you can just talk with us just search on uh, google get wpxpot.com then you will get our website and just go to the website and go to the pro services you can just choose your pro services or you can just just send us an email then we'll reply you no worries